thank you again for coming all the way over here to come and spend some time with my family as we all get to know you. And the fact that you're even willing and able to cook is just the most amazing thing for everyone here. We are all oh so looking forward to what you'll have ready for us by the time lunch starts. And thank you as well, Verna. It was so kind of you to invite me out here to finally come see the parents of the young woman my son is so very in love with. I have also been having a very fun time with you cooking all these dishes, and I hope you all really do look forward to eating what I've made for you all today. Actually, I really am thankful that you let me help cook this time. It's helped me calm my nerves a little bit, considering that this is my first time being over at you guys' house and first time seeing you in person. Yes, no worries! I had to make sure you could cook since you come from a moneyless family. But it brings me great joy to see that you can, in fact, work with higher quality foods. I mean, I was almost certain that a lot of appliances in here would be too high tech for you to understand. Uh-huh. Did you have a good look around my kitchen? It's outstanding, right? We make sure to have all the most up-to-date cooking appliances in it so that all our meals are prepared the best. And when you had a chance to look inside our refrigerator, you got to see all our perfect meats and produce, right? We only allow foods that come directly from the sources they are gathered from. And yes, that does mean that a lot of our food is imported, but we're willing to pay that extra price for such delicious ingredients. And when it comes to all my storage in the kitchen, well, as you can see, I make sure that it is all well managed so that I never forget where something is. But of course, this is all possible because of my husband having so many restaurants under his company's name, right? Um, yeah. Well, I can tell that you really put a lot of time into your kitchen, Verna. And I hope that you weren't too nervous letting me handle some of those appliances of yours. I could never begin to imagine the kind of kitchen you must have to work in most of the time back at your home. I'm sure that there aren't nearly the amount of appliances we have in there, and most of your food is probably frozen and disgusting, right? Oh, I just can't see myself ever having to cook in a place like that. <laughs> Do you guys even clean it out at all, or is most of the leftover foods from last year still sitting around in there? <laughs> well, no, not really, but as for myself, I'm pretty busy with other things, so I never really have the time to work in my kitchen anyway. Nobody's really home anymore either, so that's another reason for not really cooking in there. Oh, are you like those poor people that never stop working hard in laborious jobs? Well, that must be so tiring for you indeed. <laughs> I guess that means you force yourself and your son to eat out all the time then. Fast food? That must be so hard on you guys' health, right? <laughs> Unlike y'all, my family never really has to work hard, so I'm not really able to understand what you guys have to go through. Well, anyway, before everything we've made up today starts to get cold, let's bring it out to the dining table and get to eating. I'm sure that even Fred and Miley's stomachs are beginning to hurt as we speak. Good point. But listen, I just had a quick glance of the food you ended up cooking for today. Have you made sure to measure the amount of salt you put into this dish properly? The amount of salt in it? It seems that you put quite the emphasis on salt in your dish, using things like soy sauce in it as well as table salt. Are you sure that this dish isn't too salty? Well, well, of course I didn't use a huge amount in that dish. Please excuse me, but I added just the appropriate amount of salt I thought was needed as I went along making that dish. <laughs> well, if you haven't measured the amount of sodium properly in your dish, then what would happen to you if perhaps my husband or daughter's health went downhill due to your dish? Well, this is all very unfortunate. I suppose I was better off not asking you to help cook with me. But when I had asked you for a spoon to measure out the amount of soy sauce I was putting in my dish, you told me you didn't want me touching any of your silverware. Is that right? So now you're going to make up more excuses for this. Well, for 
for now, I'm going to have to toss all this in the trash. You're fine with that, right? Wait, what? You're going to throw away the perfectly good food I just cooked? That's right. I can't let anyone eat this food when we have no idea what all's inside it. Ah, and this all has to happen while my family and yours are saying they're so hungry. Now we're going to have to go back and cook everything from scratch. I was really doing my best to make sure that everything was properly balanced out in that dish, including the salt. And I have confidence that the dish is perfectly safe for eating. Huh? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> I know that moneyless people like yourself never bother to think about making your dishes healthy or not. You guys love to consume your salts, and that's why you all end up being so large. <laughs> that is not the case in my family. Go and throw all that food out for me, please. That should be all right with you, right? <sighs> Perhaps we should just go out to eat instead today. I'm going to bring the car out for everyone, so you follow behind us, okay? Uh-huh. You're okay with me coming along with you all as well? Well, you did come today to talk with my family about the marriage of your son and my daughter that's coming up real soon, right? And so far, we haven't really had the time to talk with you and get to know you more. <laughs> so when we get to the restaurant, we can all sit down and have plenty of time to talk to one another. Understood. So how was it, Lola? This restaurant is pretty special, isn't it? But of course, you've never had the kind of French food this place has served up before, right? Well, that's right. But I do know about this restaurant. <laughs> is that so? I'm sure you've seen it on TV or maybe read about it online, right? <laughs> After all, this is the kind of restaurant that attracts even the most affluent of people to it. So it's very well known all over the world. And I'll have you know that the owner of this place is a close friend of mine. It's because of the support and funding that I gave this place that they were able to even open the restaurant in the first place. Is that so? Well, that is very interesting indeed. But, of course, I'm sure that someone like you can't even imagine what kind of place this is on the inside. So let's go on in! <laughs> and make sure to tell your son Fred to not make any scenes and to handle himself maturely, okay? My son is not five years old anymore, so you really don't have to worry about him. Just worry about yourself and we'll all be fine today. Well, he only had a mother around him to raise him all his life, so I'm a bit worried about whether he was able to get the right education or not from only you. As for Miley, she has a CEO father to lead her and a career woman like me to be her mother figure. <laughs> My husband and I are just so amazing, and she was lucky to be born into our family. So we never have to worry about her being a proper adult. Huh? Is that so? You often like to talk about yourselves as being a very amazing family and all of that, don't you? It makes me feel very embarrassed about everything. You can feel all the embarrassment you want, but that's only natural considering you and your son are both losers in this world and will never amount to the success my family has. <laughs> and since I've made it all the way to the top with my own strength, I have the right to toot my horn every once in a while about it. Anything I think of, I will say. And I have the right to do that, as I'm a winner in this world. <laughs> Well, can we stop with all this horn tooting as we're about to go into the restaurant now, right? As of right now, we've just been sitting in our cars in this parking lot for a few minutes now, and I'd kind of like to go inside. Well, you have a good point, Lola. <laughs> um, Verna, why am I only being served french fries right now while the rest of you get to have actual course-based meals? Huh? Well, that's because to a poor person like you, all you need is french fries, right? <laughs> Hold on. How much longer are you going to come at me like that? 
Your jokes are getting a bit stale now, so please just treat me as your equal, okay? We are not in middle school anymore either, so let's just be adults about all of this and enjoy the time we get to spend with our kids today. Huh? Why are you trying to talk to me like you know better when you can't even afford this year's model of cars? <laughs> I could laugh so hard right now at this. <laughs> are you trying your hardest right now to make yourself look better in front of me? It's because of us wealthy people that the poor like you are able to live at all in this world. So please be more kind to me and my family and maybe say thank you more often. <laughs> Is that so? By the way, where are you right now? Right now, I'm outside having myself a cigarette. Is there something wrong? You're smoking a cigarette? If I remember correctly, this restaurant doesn't allow smoking on the premise, and that means outside as well. I'm an investor in this restaurant, so I have the right to smoke wherever I please. My goodness. You are trying so hard to find a way to take me down off my high horse, and it is just so adorable. <laughs> that isn't what I'm trying to do at all right now, actually. What's wrong, Lola? Just a few minutes ago, you've started to act like a tough little girl in front of me. <laughs> you don't have to worry about your appearance in front of me and my family, as we already know the kind of filth you really are. So let's just enjoy our time together and please enjoy this fine restaurant, as you'll probably never be able to eat here again. <laughs> right? You really like talking down to me like that? Today is a very special day for our kids, so let's just enjoy this lovely French food, alright? Well, I suppose the rest of us will while the poor get to enjoy that huge plate of French fries. <laughs> Our family is frickin' over with. Huh? You. What the hell did you think you were doing? I had a feeling that something was wrong when Lola only received a plate of french fries, unlike the rest of us who are getting served a full course. But then I realized that you were the one that ordered all those fries for her. Why are you getting all upset with me? I was just doing all of that as a sort of joke is all. Why are you trying to joke around with her like that? That's not even a joke to most people like her, but rather you trying to offend her. I'm sorry, Carl, but really, why are you getting so upset over something as small as that? We are all leagues above someone like her and Fred, so what I've done isn't a problem at all for us. You think that our family is leagues above hers? What the actual hell are you going on about? Well, I'm correct, right? Our family happens to have way more money than that single mother and her childish son have. And it's our family's money that helps keep moneyless freaks like them alive in the first place, right? I'm so over you right now that I can't even let out a single sigh. That way of thinking is already more than a problem for you. But if you really want to talk about who's above the other here, it's her. Her and her family are leagues above us. Huh? Why's that? Why's that? Do you... do you really not know who the hell she is? Right now, Lola is the number one supporter of my company and has been for a very, very long time. Huh? Are you sure about that? I never heard a thing about that from someone like you or anyone else. I know for a fact that I've spoken with you before about how Lola has put a lot of money into my company. But I guess you never listened to what I said to you at all back then. And before we even begin to talk more about what she's done for my company, we need to talk about how you've been treating her. It doesn't matter if she's considered below or above us. The way you've been trying to offend her is not okay. When you say that she's given a lot to your company, what do you mean? Like myself, Lola works within the food service business as well, and we are both considered top of our classes in this industry. 
And when she learned about how I was starting all sorts of business in fine dining across the US, she began to invest in my company, making sure that I was able to get as many restaurants going as possible. Huh? And not only has she been investing in my company, but she herself owns plenty of restaurants, ranging from places that specialize in pizza to places that do sushi. She has really been doing it all in this industry, and has made sure that my company does just as well as hers with her support. I can't even raise a finger to her because of how much she's given me. And now you've started to pick on her? What the hell is wrong with you? But, but nobody ever told me anything about this, so I had no clue she had that kind of power. I guess I may have heard something like that from you, but I never imagined that the person you were talking about was Lola. Alright, I'm going to come back in there right now and have the waiter take back her order and get her a course meal as well. I've already made sure to order her a proper course here, so you don't have to come back in here. Actually, I'm not going to allow you back in here. You go right back home from here, alright? What? Well, why should I have to go home? Aren't you being a jackass right now? Are you freaking kidding me right now? You just tried to hurt one of the most important people to this family. So having you come back and acting as though nothing ever happened will only make things worse for us. I am not going to allow you to offend her any more than you already have. I'm trying to think of the future of my company now, so go away. Uh, understood. But how am I supposed to get home all by myself? I can't drive a car or anything like that, you know that, right? Take a bus or a taxi or anything to get you out of the vicinity of this restaurant. Are you really that brainless that you can't even fend for yourself out there? <laughs> All right then. Lola, I am so very sorry for what happened today. I never thought that my wife would ever do something as idiotic as try and make fun of you. No, 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 don't worry about it, Carl. I've been able to calm myself down now after all of that. Really, all she's done to me now is make me have to think a bit more about a few things. What things has she made you start thinking about? Well, about my marriage life and about what I do for a living. Wait, you don't have to think about all of that because of her. I'll... I'll take full responsibility for what she's done to you. And take the full repercussion of it. So please, can you make sure not to harm the project we have going on at the moment? But it seems that Fred no longer wants to go through with the project. After all, this was all his idea, and he's been left in control of what happens and when it happens regarding this project. I've only stood by his side as an investor to him, and so that new pizza restaurant you both are working on falls on his shoulders, depending on what he decides to do now with it. Is that right? Well, then there's nothing else that can be done about it then. He had to sit there and watch as my wife made terrible comments about the two of you. And I'm sure that someone like him would never want to continue working together with the husband of a woman like that. Understood. I'll stop with all the selfish comments that I've been making regarding my business and yours, and let you be. I'm sorry, Carl, but thank you. But on a very personal note, I am so very sorry for everything. What is this about you wanting to get a divorce soon? I'm not going to allow you to get a divorce from me. I have had enough of your childish crap, Verna. And the fact that you might be putting my money at risk now? I don't want you around me ever again. Alright? I doubt you even realize just how important of business I had with someone like Lola and her son. And now, it's all going to be lost because of you. But... There is still hope of us being able to make something new work. And to keep that from falling through, I need you to leave me. My job is far more important than some selfish wife, and that's why I want this divorce. What the hell? Are you really?
really going to sit there telling your own wife that your job is more important to you than her? It's not the company itself that's more important to me than you are, but those that work for me and those that work with me that are more important than you. What? I am the CEO of a very large company, and I am the one held responsible for all of my employees and customers. And recently, I began a very important project with both Fred and a few other very important customers, and if that project really does fall flat, then I'm going to be the one getting screwed, not you! So I need to do whatever I can to make things right again with Fred, and that means getting rid of you. So that's your reasoning for wanting to divorce me? That's exactly right. I'm sure that a long time ago you viewed me as your husband, but all I see from you now is using me as your ATM and your status keeper. So divorcing and cutting ties to you might just help you realize that what you're losing is more than just your money. So you're gonna throw me away just so I can see that I'm losing my husband? Well, if you do that, I'm going to make you regret throwing a woman like me away. These past few years, as my company grew and we gained more wealth, I've noticed that your head was getting too big for your body. And after a while, I really started to get tired of hearing you brag about yourself non-stop to everyone we met. I was able to just go on with my life ignoring what you were saying and doing. But today, you crossed the line. What you did to Lola's cooking by throwing it away after saying it wasn't good enough? Well, come on! It's not my fault that she's so bad at cooking that she could cause you or Marley harm. She's so bad at cooking? Do you have any clue what you're talking about right now? That woman used to run a restaurant of her own with two Michelin stars. Huh? But as of now, she no longer runs that restaurant because she's busy operating about a hundred others through her company. Lola is a very amazing woman, and her success speaks far louder than whatever lousy cooking you think you could make. To think that you went and threw her food away like that. I was looking forward to trying it all out. Well, I never knew that. If you would have told me sooner, none of this would ever be happening. I've had enough. You've done far too much talking today. You really think I want to live with a woman like you after all the horrible things you've done? I want you out of the house by the end of the night. Understood? Wait, Carl. <coughs> hey, Lola, please listen to me. Can you talk with your son and get him to continue with the project he had with my husband? What's all this about? Your company and my husband's company have a project going on right now, right? Can you please get that project back on track like it always should have been? Please? And as of right now, I'm talking with my son about that. It's because of you talking about it that my husband is going to divorce me soon! So please... I really do feel sorry for what I've done, so get back to having your son work on that project with my husband and let me stay married to my husband. Are you kidding me, Verna? You're telling me that Carl is divorcing you? I knew that Carl was a man of his company and his employees. He must really want me to see that he does care more about our partnership rather than whatever he had with you. <laughs> Stop thinking about it like that! He's telling me he wants me gone so that he can focus on his work full time. Uh, that's not okay, right? Don't you feel bad that I'm going to lose my husband because of his selfish behaviors? I don't feel bad for you at all. I think what he's chosen to do is the right thing and the perfect way of handling the cards he's been dealt. And also, Carl has been a dear friend of mine and a good business partner for a very long time, Verna. To be blunt, he really does care a whole lot about his work, but he cares even more about the people he employs and the customers he has. He is such a powerful man for being that way. And as his wife, I know all of that better than anyone else. You do? Oh, well, I, I guess you know about everything besides who his biggest supporter is and what project he's in the middle of working on, right? 
And when it comes to those two things, I happen to just forget about them. Now go call my husband and tell him that you will get your son to continue the project and then have him cancel the divorce. Are you sure you feel sorry about what you did to me? Because this all seems like anything but you feeling sorry about what you did to me. I have no idea what's made you think you deserve everything in this world at the cost of others. Well, that's because you don't know the first thing about higher class people like me! Oh, I, I do understand people like you though, Verna. Now, I'm going to call Carl and let him know what both my son and I have been thinking about that project for you. Uh-huh, really? Yes, really. And this is all going to be about your divorce from Carl, okay? Huh? I'll make sure that he will no longer have to worry about a thing and he can get right back to focusing on his company and his customers. I think Fred will be fine with all of this as well. Hold on a moment. Why are you trying to bully me now? If I, if I have to leave my husband for good, I'll seriously be all on my own in this world without anyone to help me. Even Miley is telling me that she'll never speak to me again after the divorce. I am not going to forget about how you sat there in front of my own son making fun of the person I am. I worked so dang hard to raise my son into the man he is today and had to sacrifice a lot to get him here. As a single parent, I had to balance work and parenting to make sure both needs were met. And hearing from you that I failed to raise him properly and have a proper job? I am not going to let you get away with crap like that around me. You, 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 you witch! You think you're all that now that my husband is against me? I I'll have you know, Lola, that I have plenty of other connections. I told you about how I'm the one that has invested into that French restaurant we went to earlier, right? Even if you try to make me suffer for you being such an emotional witch, I'm going to keep on living as the winner. How does that make you feel, knowing I'll never lose? I bet it stings, right? <laughs> right. I almost forgot to say this. You have been banned from ever entering that restaurant again, so go ahead and toot that horn of yours some more. Huh? I've been banned from there. <laughs> What do you think you're talking about? <laughs> uh, tell me, what is their reason for having me banned from going into their restaurant? <laughs> well, you proceeded to smoke on the premise of that restaurant and it caused a bother for a lot of the customers coming in and out of there. And this isn't your first time doing that there either, so this was the final straw. <laughs> um, who do they think they are banning an investor like me from going inside their restaurant? <laughs> you, you can pretty much call me the owner of that place and I say that I'm allowed to do what I want there. <laughs> well, if you'd like to know who the real owner of that place is, it's me. Huh? Recently I had been hearing about how there was someone saying they were a huge investor for my restaurant and that they'd use that to get whatever they wanted from there. And lo and behold, that person turned out to be you of all people. I was shocked when you told me that to my face. You, you, you have to be lying. Be, because I am... I didn't ever remember getting any kind of money from you that you wanted invested into my restaurant. That's right. You happen to have a couple of other friends that run high-end restaurants around the city, right? Well... I'd like you to go ahead and tell me what restaurants those are. No. Tell me, please. And don't think that I'm going to let you off the hook until you tell me about the other restaurants you're in good relations with, okay? I don't mind how you phrase it as long as you tell me. Um, well, there's that one restaurant by the City Hall Southern Exit. Right. That's the place that specializes in shrimp, correct? Well, that place also happens to be run by me and my company. What other places do you know? And I, I've had enough. Sure, I have been saying that I have connections with a lot of restaurants around here, but what's so bad about that? I never said that there was anything wrong with that. 
I happen to brag about my cooking and my whole company a lot, actually, and about how those have made me into the woman I am today. But the only difference is that I don't lie about the strengths I have and then use them to talk down to others. Hey, I just got a text from Miley saying she's cutting ties to me. I'm seriously going to be all on my own now. Please, can you do something on your end to save me? Ain't that so. You don't have yourself a job, and you'll soon be without a home as well. Soon your life is going to become pretty difficult, Verna. Well, if you're ever feeling a bit hungry, give me a call, please. I'll make sure to have a fresh plate of hot french fries ready for you to eat. After that, Carl went and took Verna and tossed her out of his house for good. And as for her daughter, Miley, she did end up cutting ties with her mom and blocked her just to make sure she could never be contacted again. Since she no longer had a house or family to rely on, Verna went around the city looking for any connections of hers that might be able to help her. But since everyone already knew about how much of a snob she was when bragging about everything in her life, not a soul offered her a hand in helping her out. And as of right now, Verna has gone back to her hometown and is working a pretty dirty job as a, as a pig farmer with one of her long-forgotten uncles. And as for ever contacting me again, I'm not sure if it was due to her pride or just that she was too scared to, but she never contacted me again after I offered to get her french fries whenever she needed them. <laughs> Fred and Miley were able to have a happy wedding and are now both living together in a penthouse downtown where they plan to start their own family. And as for that project that my friend was leading on my company's end with Carl, they have gotten back on track and everything is going well there. But unlike the Carl I had been seeing for the past few years, he seemed a whole lot more excited about his job and life again after getting rid of that, that, that selfish witch. 